Hi there. My name's Tanner Dodge. I'll be the SPL for NYLT 2014, and I hear that you're coming. Well, in order to make this the best camp ever, there are a couple things that you need to know first. My friends are going to fill you in. Hi, I'm Riley. I'm going to be your ASPL of service at NYLT this year. My tip for you at NYLT is to make sure that your shoes fit really well before camp and that you have plenty of clean, dry socks to change into. If you get a blister throughout the week, stop by the med shack to get it treated, because if it gets worse, you will have a very miserable week. Hello, my name is David Otto, and I'm your troop quartermaster for the year. And I will be demonstrating what you should bring for be prepared for being a good Boy Scout. So the first thing you're going to need is a shelter to put all your stuff in. So you'll have a tarp which is right here. Pull it all out, make a nice tablecloth. And then uh, you're probably going to take a few notes up here. So you're going to need a couple pens and pencils. That should be enough. Um, a flashlight usually should work. That's pretty bright. Um, a pocket knife, because every good Boy Scout should have a pocket knife. Um, if you don't take a shower, which you really should do, you should bring a stick of this smelly stuff, whatever it's called. Um, if you get bored, you learn a new musical instrument. There's that one. In a fancy Boy Scout case, even. Um, sugar Rush. Hi, I'm Levi Olson. And I'm Elliot Johnson. And we're, we're going to be, be team guides, guides at NYL 2014. 2014. Now, what you just saw there was me being dead. I know what you're thinking. You're talking. You're moving your head. You're kind of creeping me out. But the fact of the matter is, I was dead. Do you know why I was dead? Because I didn't drink enough water. Water is a key part of your body. Explain, Ali. Well, you see, hydrogen and oxygen molecules bond to certain the molecular less complicated struggles. Explanation. <laughs> okay, so water hydrates you, and without water, you keel over and die, and we cut off your toes if you do not drink water. So. So, the fact of the matter is, there's no limit to the amount of water <laughs> that you should be drinking at this camp. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Justin Kate, and I'm staffing NYLT 2014, and I'm going to be a troop guide. So, if you're lucky, you'll be in with me, hopefully, because I'm doing enthusiasm right now, and that's the best thing ever. That's the best thing, most important thing you can bring to camp. I mean, you can bring first aid kits. Those will help people for a while, but you're not going to have fun with a first aid kit. If you bring enthusiasm and just look for the joy in everything at camp and you're looking forward to it, you're going to have a great time. And that, that's about all I can tell you. I mean, you can just keep on going sad all through camp and not have fun, but if you get enthusiasm, you're going to have a great time and a great best camp ever. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Maddie. And we're, we're going to be team, team guides. For NYLT, it's important that you remember to bring a backpack that's more than just a standard backpacking backpack. For NYLT, you're going to need a proper... No, it is not! Okay. So we're having an awesome first aid kit right here, and we have lots of bandages and that, and cleaning stuff, and it's always important to remember to bring a first aid kit like this. Because accidents happen. Music. Um... Something shiny so you can see yourself, groom yourself and everything, or blind someone with the sun. Um, more sugar. Uh, safety vest, you've got to be safe. A notepad. Some uh, ketchup, because the food can be bland sometimes. Uh, another pocket knife. A drum key. Some salt and pepper and more ketchup. More salt and pepper. Um, a first aid kit. Oh, more ketchup. <laughs> um, some band-aids. Neosporin, anti-itch cream. A bicycle repair kit. Uh, some medicines. A sewing kit. Um, insect repellent. More of a bike kit. Some eyedroppers. A calculator. An extension cord. Because the nearest outlet's quite a few feet away, so you're going to need that. A multi-plug. Uh, an alarm system. Uh, a watch. An adapter. 
some duct tape, that's about the best thing in the world, uh, some handcuffs, a band. Hi everybody, I'm Caleb, and I'll be a troop guide this year. Something you probably should know about me is I'm fun, energetic, and I will talk your ear off any day. And I like soccer. Tanner, where's my soda? Tanner! Coffee! Need the coffee. <laughs> I'm Betsy, and I am the Assistant Scoutmaster for NYLC. And we are so excited to have the participants join us this year at, at, at KBRM, and uh, we are here to support our youth. Yep, it's a youth-run program. We make sure it is absolutely awesome, and everything runs right according to the BSA standards. I'm a troop guy. Today, I'm going to teach you about proper uniform. As you can see, I'm not in proper uniform. Let me fix that real quick. As you notice, I have on my scout uniform, which is tucked in, which is tucked in nice. But I am not in scout proper uniform yet. I also have my scout issue pants. But the most important part of it all, the socks. Each of these parts are, ne are needed for your proper uniform. And if you don't have these, we'll be, we'll be forced to use capital punishment or send you back to camp. Everyone works better. Um, matches, cards, more cards, food, a golf ball, some loaded dice, glass cutter, um, screwdriver, a pair of pliers, some trip wire for a booby trap, a socket set, a magnet, some screwdrivers I think, and a boat dock mount, a battery, tape measure, some more screwdriver stuff, an ID card, just in case they find you out in the middle of the woods and don't know who you are. Um, another sewing kit, your hall pass from school, charger, hand warmers, more hand warmers, compass, GPS, a camera for your mom, they always love those pictures, another charger, a speaker, more duct tape. Hi, I'm Alec Tenning and I'm here to tell you not to forget to tent because it gets scary at night. Things come mm. out. And without a tent, you won't have the best camp ever. Observe the Nick in his natural habitat. He has a computer laptop he's very skilled at using. Nick is a very rare species of humans known as the techie. And it has a very rare call that he will apply to anything. Watch Justin as he demonstrates it. Oh, Nick! Yep. Yeah. Oh, see. Oh. So I'm very good at calling. It he is now it takes many years of practicing. He is now very yeah. alert and will strike at any moment at slight provocation. He's also very helpful, but most of the time he just kind of sits around. Sometimes you can find him on his laptop or in the trading post, well, he'll counting his money. He will sell you many goods for the yeah. right price. A bike pump. <sighs> Water bottle, first aid book, a gas mask, a map, um, some scratch paper, a book you were supposed to return in school, um, more scratch paper. And I think I'm out. And of course you're going to have to have something to carry it all in, so that's what that's for. So, any questions, you can come find me. And if you didn't know, this is my everyday school backpack. So if you need anything, come find me. Now, if you follow all of our advice, I promise you, we can make this 
the best camp ever. I'll see you there. <laughs>